from Mahadev betting app scam to SEBI's stress test. Key factors behind the bloodbath that wiped off 14 lakh crore rupees from the Dalal Street today. Sensex crashed about 1100 points intraday and went below the 73,000 mark while Lifty was under the 22,000 mark today. At the time of closing, Sensex recovered a bit but was still down 906 points. Nifty was down 338 points. The market capitalization of all BSC listed stocks fell by 14 lakh crore rupees to 372 lakh crore rupees. The small cap index fell over 5% to record its worst single day fall since December 2022. Mid caps lost over 4% while micro caps and SME stocks indices fell around 6% each. So what exactly happened in the markets today? What led to this super crazy market crash and that too suddenly? But was it sudden or there were signs all along? I'm Neha Vashisht Mahajan. Let's take a look at the factors. Number 1. SEBI Stress Test SEBI has been asking mutual funds since last month to put in place a system to protect the interest of small cap and mid cap investors over concerns relating to froth building up in pockets of the market. SEBI chairperson Madhabi Puri Bhuj recently said, there are pockets of froth in the market. Some people call it bubble, some may call it froth. It may not be appropriate to allow that froth to keep building. After SEBI's nudge, ICICI Prudential Mutual Fund has temporarily suspended new subscriptions via lump sum mode to small cap and mid cap funds. As per analysts, this indicates the excessive valuations in the broader market. Number 2 Valuations Some of the top brokerages and veteran investors have been warning against the unsustainable valuation in the small cap space. Madhabi Puri's comments on valuation parameters being off the charts and not backed by fundamentals leading to irrational exuberance could have also alerted the investors. Number 3 Mahadev Betting App Case ED's investigation into the multi crore Mahadev betting app scam has found a link to the bubble in the stock market. The ED has now frozen shares worth 1100 crore rupees held in DMAT accounts linked to Dubai based alleged Hawala operator Hari Shankar Tibrewala. Tibrewala and his entities held stakes in more than 30 listed stocks like Sigachi Industries, Gensol Engineering, Vikas Ecotech, Toyam Sport, LKP Finance, etc. Shares of most of these stocks have been on a downward spiral since the ED action. And lastly, number four, we have technicals. In Tuesday's session, Nifty formed a long-legged doji candle but failed to negate the bearish evening star pattern in the previous session. On the derivatives front, bearish sentiments were seen yesterday as majority of the sectors either witnessed short build-up or long unwinding. Well, that is all for today. Stay tuned to ED Markets for more.